Hello and welcome back to the We Are City channel for the Ten Hag Revolution and today's episode is massive in terms of our Premier League progression. We are currently top of the Premier League. See, Edison has grabbed Player of the Month award for November, which is an odd one. You don't really see a goalkeeper win it much. I wonder who's topping clean sheets then. I assume it is Edison, if that's the case. Yeah, six clean sheets in 14 matches. Well, we've complained about ourselves conceding goals, but clean sheets wise, it seems to be... If the gates open in our defence, the gates open and we flood our defence and we can see lots of goals. But if we stay solid, we tend to stay solid. We don't tend to concede maybe one goal, do we? It's either three or four in a game. Uh, Awar's top in assist there. You can see with seven. Saka with five as well. So Saka's doing really well for us. No one really in the top goal scorers quite yet. Martinez got seven in 11 games. But we play Spurs and Liverpool in today's episode. And that is the thing. We are top with 37 points. Liverpool on 35 and Spurs with 34. So we kick the game off against Liverpool. We've beaten West Ham. We beat them 6-0 in the last episode. Absolutely trounced them, didn't we? They couldn't stop us. Let's hope we play the same way against Liverpool today. Well, an issue we have got is a lot of tired legs after that West Ham game. The, the squad's going to be changed. I mean, I'd love to put out the same side that we put out against West Ham. It worked perfectly, but not today. So Edison starts in goal. Player of the month, Edison. We've got Kuto, Rossero stepping to that midfield. Diaz, the captain, Hernandez at the back. De Jong and Gravenberg in the midfield, Stefanovic on the left, Kaiki on the right, and João Felix in behind Liam Delap. A very different looking side. On the bench, we've got Lotaro Martinez, Ferran Torres, Almada de Bruyne, and Bete Rice and Driesen. It's going to be tough against Liverpool. Clearly, at the moment, the second best side in the league, and they definitely have the quality to beat us. Well, here we are at the Etihad Stadium, a night match, and a massive one. First place versus second place, Manchester City versus Liverpool. And what a game of football! we could have here today between two very, very good sides. Well, here is the very different looking Liverpool side out there today. So Alisson starts in goal, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Klosterman, Bastione and Grimaldo, the back four. Gurich, Tielemans and Neuhaus in the midfield three. Then it's Van Damme, Jota and Pedro de la Vega. Very fluid looking front three. Ramagnoli, Salah, Gomez, Tamiskas, Barrow on the bench. Grabara as well, new goalkeeper. A very different looking Liverpool side. And teams out there given by goalkeeper Alisson, probably the most experienced Liverpool player in this side, alongside maybe Trent, who's been in the club for such a long time. The lap steps up for kickoff. The Etihad is ready. The rain is falling. Manchester City versus Liverpool. It's live from the Etihad Stadium. And what a game this could be. Grown straight to Frankie. And then he's tackled. Cross into the box. De La Vega with the head down. Diogo Jota, interception by Kuto. Still De La Vega, good save by Edison. But that is poor from us. Well done, Edison. Just get the ball away. Cross comes into the far post, into the hands of Edison. In trouble here. Jan Gravenberg, great tackle in front of his own box. And then he bursts away, Gravenberg. Great work from Ryan Gravenberg. Still going here. Plays Raul Felix. Good touch by Joao. Felix! Oh, some save from Alisson there. Some save from the Brazilian. Great chance. It's in towards Felix, actually. Joao Felix rises above Trent Alexander-Arnold and makes it 1-0 Manchester City. Well, I didn't expect him to win that header, to be honest with you. I was aiming to lap from the, the corner. He was too shallow, too light the cross, but straight across is Raul Felix. It's Bastione he beats in the air. That is a big surprise. Rise above Bastione. Eight goals in the Premier League this season for Joao Felix. I think he's our top goal scorer in the Premier League now. And 1 0 we lead Liverpool. What a start to this game from us. Into De Jong. Stefanovic. Felix. Liverpool pressure so aggressively. Gravenberg. It's fine. Teo Hernandez. Great pass. Under pressure, Teo. Foul on Teo by the winger Van Damme. It will be a yellow card, surely. Well, they're on the counter there. I don't know how the referees not give a yellow card here. Stefanovic. Frankie. Into Felix. Look at the run from Teo Hernandez. Instead, Gravenberg has found Kaiki across to the lap. Who finishes it? 2-0 Manchester City. Kaiki, that's very smart play from the Brazilian. I know I've called him a few times and said he's not been good enough. And he hasn't been good enough at times. But it was smart there. I didn't go for the shot with him because he's not very good at finishing. There was two men across to him. So he finds the lap. He makes Alisson the goalkeeper commit. You'll see it here. Alisson commits across to the lap. And he's a tap in for Liam. 
This very smart play from Kaiki. Great run as well. And well found by Ryan Gravenberg in that midfield. And a goal for Liam Delap. Another goal from him. Jurgen Klopp. Can't believe it. He sided 2 0 down here to Manchester City. Delap gets seven as well. So we really have got a few players in this sort of race to be top goal scorer. Tillemans. De La Vega again. We're around Kuto once more. Went to go inside there. Kaiki's nicked it. And Kaiki counters. And we're four and three here. Kaiki. Kaiki still. Good pass. The lap port oh, straight at Allison. It's a corner though. Good work. Cross comes in from the corner. It's Raul Felix in space again. It's off the line. Rosser on the rebound with a header. Saved by Allison, but he was off the line by Trent Alexander Arnold. Kaiki. Kuto. In behind to Kaiki. Oh, well played, De La Vega. Gravenberg, great tackle, Kaiki. Felix. The lap into Stefanovic and Philippe Stefanovic gets a massive goal. 3 0 Manchester City. What a performance against Liverpool. What a performance, guys. This is the same sliders, the same difficulty. It's ultimate difficulty with the same sliders we put in last season where we struggled in the league. We're not struggling here. We've just battered West Ham and we're tearing Liverpool apart here. Stefanovic with a goal, 3 0 Manchester City. His first ever Premier League goal for the Serbian. That might take a weight off his shoulders, really, of being a backup at the club and not feeling he's good enough. He's by far good enough. He's just got to perform. De Jong wide to Stefanovic. Has a bit of a run at Trent Alexander Arnold. Cuts inside him. Into Raul Felix. Lofts it over the top to Kaiki. It's a great pass. Kaiki on his head. Into Gravenberg. Into the lap. Poor good save by Allison. The lap feels like he probably should have scored there. Another chance from the corner, though. Diaz up. Oh, it nearly falls to Felix. Gravenberg. Cross to Kaiki. Kaiki. The lap! Oh, I thought he'd scored then. Bullet header from Liam De Lap. And that is half time. Manchester City 3, Liverpool 0. What a performance in that first half. They had one chance that Edison saved, for, you know, early on. Since then, we've absolutely battered them. Courage. Frankie De Jong across. Good tackle by De Jong. Gravenberg. Foul referee. Clear foul. Chance for Liverpool here. Neuhaus. Gruich. What a tackle from Teo Hernandez. Diaz across to Kuto. Back to Edison. Edison away. Well played, Edison. Not a bad one, actually. Stefanovic. Onto the lap. Through to Stefanovic. Oh, just Trent cuts it out. Oh, it's a free kick. Trent Alexander stands over it. I think he'll score this, Trent. Trent. Trent, oh, what a save by Edison. Palms it over the bar. I tell you what, he has really become an unstoppable goalkeeper recently. Oh, he's made a mistake here, though. I don't think anyone got a touch on that. I was hoping he'd just bobble out of play. Diaz dives in, misses it. Barrow with a cross in. What a cross to De La Vega. Goal for Liverpool. That is a wonderful cross. Diaz there dived in. What a cross by Barrow. De La Vega makes a, cr a run across Rice. No clean sheet, unfortunately. Very nice goal from Liverpool. Six for De La Vega in the Premier League. Looks good for Liverpool, actually. He's, he's had a good game, you know. A switch on to Kuto would have been nice, but difficult. Technique to get it across there. Oh, Gravenberg. Kaiki. Kaiki! Oh, he's such a bad finisher for whatever reason, the Brazilian, isn't it? Shocking finish again from Kaiki. Should be 4-1. If that were Ferran Torres, it's in the back of the net. Shot by Salah. Or a cross. And Anders away. And that is full time. A 3-1 win at home against Liverpool. That pushes them down the table. And gives us breathing space at to the top. Ten Hag's men. They may have started poorly. You know, we didn't start the season amazingly well. We have started to make ground. We've started to hit consistency. And what a game today. A 3-1 win over Liverpool is a massive result. Well, Morgan Rogers completed his development from a centre forward to a centre attacking midfielder. He's still 81 rated, and now we're going to train him as. Should we train him as a shadow striker? We'll train him as an advanced playmaker, getting his passing and vision and things up, and then we'll train him as a you know a shadow striker, a dynamo, making him even better on the ball as well. Our next game is the final game of the group stage in the Champions League. It's against Napoli. A game we will see. Of course, we had that exciting 4-3 win over them after being 3-0 down at half time. 
Morgan Rogers, who we just spoke of, came on and completely changed the game around, didn't he? And it's important for Napoli to win, because if Leon beat Ajax, Napoli will be out. Well, this is aside for the Napoli game. Edison starts and go. We've got Lamptey, Rice, and Bete and Saka at the back. Almada and De Bruyne in the midfield with Felix in front. Ferran on the right, Foden on the left, and Martinez through the middle on the bench. De Lap, Kaiki, De Jong's in there. I think we'll throw in McAtee. Why not? Gravenberg, Ren, Hernandez, and Dreesen. We'll give Morgan Rogers a rest. He'll start the next one. And we come away with a 2 1 win. So if Leon have beat Ajax, Napoli are out. Patania scored in the 71st minute, but it was Lataro on the 58th and Lataro on the 11th. A double from him. And unfortunately, suspension for Almada, who's got two yellows and a red card. Some news here Kylian Mbappe has won the Player of the Year award. Ballon d'Or goes to the Frenchman, who is still at PSG, 95 rated, worth 200 million. And look at those stats. What an incredible player he's turned out to be. Up next, it's Fulham away in the Premier League in a game we will simulate because there's two games that I want to play in this episode. Chelsea away in the Cup and then Spurs away in the Premier League. That's a big one for the Premier League. This is a big one for the Cup. This Fulham one, hopefully Asai can do us a good job and get us three points. And we come away with a 4-1 win over Fulham. Almada there, Stefanovic also on the score sheet. Jan Kuto from fullback and Joao Felix in the first, first minute. Campwell got a goal that levelled it up in the seventh, but then the Almada, Stefanovic and Kuto goals responded. Three points in the Premier League. Well, it's Carabao Cup quarter-final action this time. And we go away to a side we've beaten once this season, 2-0 in the Premier League, to Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Well, in name of the side for the quarter-finals today against Chelsea, we do have one eye on the game two days later against Spurs in the Premier League. They're in third place in the table and not far behind us. So for today's squad is our cupkeeper, Dreesen, starts in goal. Lamptey Rice, Renshin Saka in the four there. Almada and De Bruyne in the middle. Rodgers in front and then Kaiki on the right. Phone on the left. And Lataro Martinez through the middle on the bench. We've got Liam Delap, Ferran Torres, Gravenberch, Diego Rossa, and Bete Hernandez and Bentley. Well, here we are at Stamford Bridge to face a Chelsea side that will not be easy to beat. We've beat them once this season, like we said, a 2-0. And that's where things in our team started to turn for Eric Arg, didn't they? The team started to play he wanted them, the way he wanted them to play. The best I've seen us play initially. And now we've really, really made progress, haven't we? Hopefully continue this progress today against Chelsea. And the winner of this game will face either Liverpool or Birmingham in the semi-finals. Well, the Chelsea side that faces today is very similar to the one that faces last time. The likes of Depay are on the bench with Porto, Sterling, Milando and Ricardo Pereira. So it's Busman who starts in goal. James, Koulibaly, Tapsoba, Shaleta, Carr and Alonso the back five. Locatelli and Havertz in the midfield three. And now Campos, Stengs and Paolo Dybala up top. And there is captain Calibu Koulibaly. Once linked with Manchester City very heavily. They decided to sign Ruben Diaz instead. They wouldn't pay the, the fee for a player of Koulibaly's age. Paolo Dybala there, another great signing. Also been linked with Manchester City in the past. So Manchester City versus Chelsea. It's live from Stamford Bridge. Here's Locatelli. Looking for a ball through. Wrench is watching that. Let's go through to Dybala. Wrench, oh, good tackle, but Dybala gets there. Dybala, oh, what a bit of defending from Declan Rice. I slid in with Wrench there. And then Declan Rice slid in at the far post and somehow managed to lift it over the bar without putting his own net. I was certain it was going in his own net. Great play by Rice. Wrench away. Nearly. Havertz into Dybala. Back into Havertz, who's away here. Dreesen off his line. Oh, they've passed it to Dybala. Would have been a penalty anyway. Goal for Chelsea, 1-0 down here. No one followed Dybala's run, did they? We're all worried about Havertz here. Declan Rice. I have to say he's a bit to blame for that one. And a little cheeky dink by Dybala as well. Gives Chelsea the lead. His first goal in the Carabao Cup this season. And we're 1-0 down at Stamford Bridge. And this is not the performance we put in last time we played Chelsea. Dybala. Almada straight through Dybala. Why did he come through the back of him? It's a free kick. Luckily, it's not a red card. <laughs> Could have easily have been a red card, that one. Through the back of him. Dybala hits it. Oh, my word. Off the bat. Poof. Should have scored there. Unlucky. Almada. De Bruyne. Finds Kaiki. In acres of space, the Brazilian. Kaiki does finish it this time. 1-1. I'm never quite certain when he gets the ball on that right-hand side if he's going to finish it. He's finishing it a bit hit and miss. 
But De Bruyne finds him. Kaiki finds the back corner. Great finish from the Brazilian. De Bruyne is the one who's unlocking Chelsea. Taps Sober's marking Rodgers. And I think it's Lazaro. Everyone leaves Kaiki because the fullback Alonso is too wide. And on his right foot, Kaiki. Pass Busman. Very good finish from the Brazilian. 1-1. One, one. And all level again with Chelsea here. De Bruyne are up. Rice. Then wide to Kaiki. Into Rodgers. Foden. Through to Rodgers. Oh, it's a save by Busman. What a goalkeeper. Rodgers feels like he should have scored that. It's a good save. Very good save. Martinez rises above Shaletta Sart and over the top of the bar. Up against Lamptey. Locatelli. Oh, good ball through to Portu. Portu pulls it back. Renz with a great block. De Bruyne up for the header. Oh, wins against Dybala. Counter. De Bruyne. Wide to Kaiki. Kaiki. They're not getting tight to him. Kaiki. Oh, what a finish from Kaiki. A double for him today. What a finish. They left him because I think they thought, well, he's not going to score from here anyway. He's probably the worst finisher in that forward line. Well, Kaiki takes it upon himself to make sure he finishes his chance. De Bruyne finds him again. Shaletta Sar eventually gets across to him. Bussman just watches that fire into the far corner. Great finish from the Brazilian Kaiki. No chance for the goalkeeper there. Absolutely no chance. Kaiki makes it 2 1. And we're going to the quarter, the semi finals, isn't it? We're in the quarter finals. We're going to the semi finals of the Carabao Cup. Goal number four as well for Kaiki in this competition. Looking good for him. Looking good. Rogers. What a ball on his left foot wide to Saka. Saka, ball into the box. Kaiki's there, cleared away by Koulibaly. Almada back into danger area. Lotaro. Up against Koulibaly, who wins it off him. Almada, Teo. Here's Lotaro. Lotaro. Lotaro, down the edge of the box, referee. Oh my word, it's such a clear foul. He's just kicked him. Locatelli. Going to attack to defend now. Dybala. Havertz, wide to Porto. How does the ref not give a free kick there? I don't know. Locatelli to Havertz. Look at the space out wide here for Reese James. The fullback. Found some space, James. Skips past Teo and Andes. James, great tackle by Renz in the box. Into Lataro Martinez. Again being fouled. Plays on. Rodgers. What a ball by Rodgers. Ferran Torres. Torres finishes the game as he usually does. 3 1 Manchester City. Game over. What a ball by Morgan Rogers. I think he was on the outside of his boot as well. Ferran finds Ferran Torres. And you know what Ferran Torres does in front of goal. He finishes his chance. Celebrations from Dresden here. Manchester City are going to the Carabao Cup semi final. And what a goal that was. We'll see Rogers again here. Lataro played his part in it. He might not have got a goal today. Held the ball well. Look at that pass from Rogers. Renz is going to come off it in Bete. It looks very tired as Divine Renz. Look at this finish from Ferran on the left foot. Pass Busserman. Great finish. 89th minute. He's first in the Carabao Cup. Here comes Luke and Bete. For a tired Renz, he's put everything in at the back today and he's done really well. And that is Chelsea going home. Well, they're already at home. They'll be staying at Stamford Bridge. They won't be travelling anywhere else in this competition. Why to Lamptey. De Bruyne. Dreesen. And that is full time. Manchester City 3. Chelsea won. Big win in the Carabao Cup. And a very good performance once again. Morgan Rogers, Martinez, look at the group. These players believe in each other. We've completely revamped the team, haven't we? There's a lot of players left. But the revamp has worked. These players really do get on with each other. And they've created a very good, you know, relationship of family here at Manchester City, it seems, so far. So for our final game of the episode, it's a game against third place Tottenham Hotspur. And we're starting to run away with the title. A win here will help us even more, won't it, run away with it, really. So this is side for the game against Spurs today. Edison starts in goal. Kuto, Rossa, Diaz and Hernandez in the back forward. Brian and De Jong in the middle with Felix in front. Foden and Torres in the wings. Liam Delap at striker on the bench. Martinez, Kaiki, Rodgers, Almada, Gravenberch and Bete and Dreesen. So here we are at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Spurs and their captain, Harry Kane, who missed that Champions League final at the end of last season. He's back. And he's back in the starting 11, I think, as the players walk out. 
And there he is. He's not. It's Jordan Henderson in there. Maybe Harry Kane has missed out again today for an injury. So this is the Spurs side that faces today. Melzier starts in goal. Jesus, Timori, Soyuncu and Regulon at the back four. Henderson and Kessier in the midfield three. Rafinha and Dombele and Steven Bergvine in behind. He is back. It's Harry Kane, but we know Captain's armband. They've got Ismaili Sarr, Sessegnon, Wesley, Longley, Skip, Ferreira and Hugo Lloris on the bench. What a Spurs side this is. You can see why they're up in third place in the table. Never won the Premier League though. Had that chance, of course, to win the Champions League and couldn't do it. They didn't beat us in the final. So Harry Kane is still trophyless. At Tottenham Hotspur. So Manchester City versus Spurs. It's live from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Foden. Teo. Oh, back to Foden. But the pass was poor. De Jong, what a block. Falls to the lap who puts it over the bar. Good attempt by Liam Delap though as it fell to him. On the bobble. Just It just sat up a bit too much for him really to hit it first time. Diaz is going to attack this again. Which he does. Brilliantly done. Ferran in behind. Liam. The lap! Oh, he's put it wide. Well, Liam the lap usually finishes those. I'm very surprised he didn't. Foden. Foden. The lap! Oh, Soyuncu gets something on it. And I think it was a hand that stopped the lap finishing that one. And it's a penalty to Manchester City. Was it the hand of Soyuncu? We'll see it here. Yeah, it was the hand. The lap's about to head that in. So Unchu's arms across the lap and he actually punches it over the head of Liam Delap. Joao Felix steps up for this. He scored one penalty already this season. It's already our second penalty. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Why did I do that? Press circle way too early. One of them games. I can feel it. Nelly 8. Cleared away. The Young. Ooh, into the hands of Nelly 8. Kuta's going to get wide here to Regulon. Regulon with a great cross into Steven Bergvine, who gives Spurs the lead 1-0. Well, we've missed chance after chance. We've even missed the penalty. And Spurs go up the other end and score. Steven Bergvine with the goal. Shocking, really. Kuto gets out to him. What is Diaz doing here? Got to work harder. Teo, is, you've got to work harder to get across. Bergvine wants it more. Gets across the defenders and scores. He's fifth of the season. I'm not happy with that one, really. Foden, the lap, Ferran, the fullbacks do definitely get back for them, but the crossing it is Raul Felix, somehow it's not gone in, and Dombele, Kuto gets a foot in, foul, no, play on, and Dombele, look at the space, he out wide to Rafinha, what a save Edison, we've got to win this in the air, Kane wins the header, oh, Edison saves it onto the post, well we're hanging on here in the end of this first half, Kane hit that with so much power. I knew he would with his header. Kuto couldn't get up to him. Somehow it's only 1-0 at half-time. And to Spurs, both had great chances. Both should have more goals, really. Half-time, Manchester City 0. Tottenham Hotspur 1. So we've got to be better in this second half. We've got to finish our chances. Spurs are playing well. They're defending very well, I have to say. You can see the intent from the wingers to get back and help their fullbacks out, help the defence out. Here's the lap. Still going here, Liam. Into De Jong. Felix. De Bruyne. De Jong. De Bruyne. Felix. Ferran. Huto. Into De Lap. <sighs> Went to take it on his chest. Rossa. Frankie De Jong. Route to Felix. Into Ferran. Across the box to De Bruyne. Oh, he's cleared with the feet of Meliate. Somehow. Felix. Ferran. Oh, gives it away. Long ball by Regulon. Piaz has lost it. And Dombele. Frankie misses the challenge. Rossi. Good play by the midfielder. Pushes them back. Bergvine. Kane. Stood off him here. Oh, he stood off Kane here. Teo Hernandez, what a block. Oh, that is a disgusting, disgusting decision from the referee. If this is handball, it's disgusting. It really is. Oh, it's, his hands on his body. What does he want him to do? Cut his arms off. Rafinha comes off for 
Ismaili Sarr and Kane's got a chance to make it 2-0 here. Kane! Oh, good penalty. Past Edison, 2-0 down here to Spurs. Shocking decision from a corrupt bit of Premier League refereeing. Goal number seven of the season for Harry Kane. 2 0 down here. Shocking, shocking decision that was. It's like it was it's like the ref knew what decision he was going to make. He wanted to make it. Bergvine up against Q Top. Oh, what a switch of plate from Bergvine. Is this Malisar? Who's strong and he's quick. And he's burning away from Diaz here. And he's played a good ball into Indombele. Good save by Edison. Should score there in Dombele. Ferran. Ferran. Some support. De Bruyne. Felix. Hernandez. De Bruyne on the turn. Kevin De Bruyne makes it 2-1. This time now. Go pick that ball up, Kev. We go again. This is a comeback. It's possibly on. Kevin De Bruyne. Who finds him? Teo Hernandez on the turn. De Bruyne hits it. Great finish. Great finish past Melier. Goal number seven for the season for him as well. Two goals to go. Obviously none to concede as well. That's for three points. Although I take a point here against Spurs. Kuto. Lautaro. Into Rodgers. Oh, Lautaro, you pass. Wasn't the best. Rosser, Bergvine dances round him. Kuto tries to foul him. Bergvine. Bergvine. Great tackle by Diaz. Again. Felix, let's go again now. Lataro Martinez. Felix. De Bruyne. Ferran Torres. Lataro. Ferran. Lataro. Martinez! Lataro Martinez makes it 2 2. Great goal on his left foot by the number 16. Took our time here. Maybe Kaiki, he's been scoring, hasn't he? What a hit from Lataro. What a hit. He's suggesting Kaiki on. He's eighth of the season, Lataro Martinez. We need to make another change, don't we? We've got one substitution left. De Bruyne is a pass maker, though. I'm thinking Gravenberg for Diego Rossa. Diaz up. Oh, we could be in trouble here. No, we can't. Jan Kuto, great tackle. Ferran Torres. Felix. Lautaro. Through to Joao. Felix, what a save. Oh, and Soyuncu gets on the end of it. That was the chance. That's full time. 2-2 draw with Spurs to end the episode. But we could have really won the game there. Joao Felix so close. Good goalkeeping from Melier, the Frenchman. And that's why Spurs spent, spent so much money on him to replace a very good goalkeeper on this game in Hugo Lloris. So full time 2-2 with Spurs. The referee was against us, but we came against all odds to win that game. Kane had a good game as well up top for them. Manchester City 2, Spurs 2. So please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. We'll see you next time.